Hello Pisces, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the 18th through to the 24th of April 2022 <clears throat> or thereabouts. It could resonate a little bit beyond that time, Pisces. Um, it's also a general reading so it won't resonate with everybody but it certainly will with some. So let's see shall we, we'll start um, your reading off just having a look at the um, uh, cycle of the moon oracle cards um, to get a couple of messages for you. I'm finding these, they're quite a new pack to me these are and they've got quite an interesting energy um, that I, I'm sort of slowly getting into which is it's always nice to to bring some new energies into into the readings but of course it's only by using these the cards that you you can connect connect with them all right Pisces so all right we have the path so there's the portal opening up for you here and um, there's a new path um, going to be opening up for you here for you to consider uh, you're going to assess here you are assessing the situation you have your your telescope out you're going to be looking you're going to be focusing and you're going to be assessing weighing up the pros and cons of this new path that's opening up for you Right, we'll go into the uh, psychic tarot now for you, Pisces. All right, what do we have for the lovely Pisces? 18th to the 24th of April, 2022. What do we have for Pisces, please? For Pisces to consider at this time. Looks like something quite exciting is happening. Alright Pisces, we have the heart of your reading, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward um, and then something else that your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck, alright, we have harmony here. So this is the lover's energy, it's a major arcana. Um, so this is a, a, a close relationship. This is something to do with the relationship, but harmony. The message is something to do with harmony within the relationship, Pisces. So let's see, shall we? Uh, using the Wheel of the Year tarot, could we clarify all of the cards on the table, please, for Pisces? Clarify all of the cards on the table for Pisces. Right, at the bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Swords and this is fear-based thoughts, um, thoughts going over and over in your mind that keep you awake at night, that become bigger than what they should be as all fear-based thoughts do um, in the night, in the middle of the night. They become bigger and magnified, don't they? It's our subconscious throwing things forward. Um, so there's something, it doesn't mean to say there's not a basis for this. I mean, there, there is clearly a basis um, for these uh, worries and concerns um, but the message of the Nine of Swords is it's becoming magnified, it's becoming bigger these worries are becoming bigger than what they should be 
and to do with the relationship I feel okay so is there a new path opening up for you now with this relationship and this and you're assessing the situation is that what's causing these fear-based thoughts for you let's have a look okay this is quite clear isn't it I mean right at the heart of your reading we have um, major arcana two major arcanas um, new beginnings it's zero this is the fall energy in ordinary tarot so this is stepping forward it's a new beginning a new start new opportunity and I feel it's to do with this relationship so an old cycle in this relationship is closing is coming to an end ready for stepping out um, with a new cycle now new beginnings what's at the root of this we have the throat chakra and we have the five of wands the throat chakra um, which is the energy center uh, based in in your throat area and this to do with all forms of communication beautiful pale blue energy but the clarifier is the five of wands now this is about conflict disagreements um, differing perspectives um, leading to some disagreements, arguments, tussles um, and in the form of the way two people are communicating it's like being communicating with somebody who's on a completely different page to yourself it's that sort of an energy so this is the, the root the root of this situation that's, that's almost like the history of this relationship I feel miscommunications um, misunderstandings, tussles and the past influences we have another major arcana here which is this is sacrifice number 12 sacrifice um, clarified by the Queen of Wands all right somebody's somebody's had to make a sacrifice of somewhere in some way to be in uh, and in the environment that the, perhaps they want to be in so it's a sacrifice has been needed um, you know to come away from the murky waters to head to the sunshine to the rainbow um, to go into an, an, an ideal environment but a sacrifice had to be has had to be made in the past Uh, and it's to do with the Queen of Wands and this that this is the entrepreneur and um, somebody who's very this is vibrancy creativity movement and change opportunity good opportunities the the Queen of Wands sees opportunities and goes for them and I feel in the past Pisces for some of you there have been great opportunities that you've perhaps had to sacrifice to be in a certain environment probably to be in a certain relationship but it you've had to make sacrifices Pisces however it looks like there's new beginnings now new opportunities this old cycle of making sacrifices of disagreements and tussles and arguments I feel that this old that old cycle is completing and there's an opportunity now for a new cycle to begin and perhaps a leap of faith but you're you've been assessing this situation and it has caused some fear-based thoughts not surprisingly when you think that sacrifices have had to be made in the past and also there's been lots of miscommunications happening okay but there's clearly a lot of love here and that's why that's why sacrifices have been made in the past right we have right we have justice times two here this is what you're thinking about truth and justice um, number 20 so major arcana 
So what you're thinking about is injustices from the pasts being put right now, that the scales needing to be balanced now to bring in harmony and balance. Equality and fairness. So in the past I feel there's it's been and that there's been an imbalance in the past. And what you're thinking about now is perhaps how to make sure that the scales are more balanced and more evenly balanced now. That things are put right that weren't right in the past. And it's about being truthful, being honest with each other here. And I feel that's the only way, Pisces. So a new path, new path is opening up. And you've been assessing the situation, thinking about it. OK, going forward. Um, here we are, the Queen of Cups. This is your energy, Pisces. So here you are. Um, prosperity is beginning. So working with somebody else, or probably working with your partner, um, and building on something that is going to be very productive. So prosperity b beginning here, going forward, um, and working from your heart centre. So there's lots of love here being brought forward. Now, it's not gender-specific, Pisces. But I feel this is coming forward with an open heart now, offering, offering your heart. Now, opening up your heart again, that, that's probably been closed for quite some time but things are going to start to be productive now going forward working closely collaboration here nurturing this new beginning this new opportunity to do with the heart but I feel not just to do with the heart matters of the heart I feel to do with life in general to do with things being productive and becoming more prosperous again. So what your guides want to say to you, we have number two, the waiting game, and we have the ten of swords. It just takes time, Pisces. It just takes time for healing, um, for things to grow and develop and heal again, because there's been a lot of hurt and heart pain and grief here, uh, a lot, a lot of loss, sense of loss here, feeling betrayed, feeling stabbed in the back. And that it's all those energies of the Ten of Swords, but the swords are starting to lift now and come away. We have the full moon, so a, a cycle completing. But you've just got to be patient a bit longer. You've got it's just got to wait for things to grow. And in the new in the new direction. Remember, this reading isn't for everybody. It'll just be for somebody or for a small handful. The energies are homing in on somebody's story here. All right, but there's lots of optimism and hope. At the end of the day, you have free will, Pisces. What you decide to do with this relationship um, is your decision and your decision alone. Everybody's situation is very, very different. You do want to see just you do want to see the scales more evenly balanced and put right. You're wanting things to be put right that weren't right in the past. But there is an opportunity here now to step out and in, 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 have a new beginning. Allow what's gone to, to go now. And, but you've just got to give, give things a little bit of time. But working together, you know, coming forward, you know, this is where prosperity will be beginning. Just working together in harmony. Okay. 
Right. Two final messages for Pisces, please. Two final messages for Pisces, please. To conclude this reading. Two final messages for Pisces. There's too many there. Two final messages for Pisces, please. All right, we've got a card that's jumped out, so we will have a look at it. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. So this is coming away from the crowd. You're in the groove now. You're in the groove and you're well on the way. The light, your light is shining so you can see your way ahead. Sit back and relax. Um, things are flowing smoothly for you again, Pisces. What else do we have? Okay. Right, now, Desert Passage. Trust that there is a divine plan, a, an operation here now. And distant thunder clear the air. So, you know, it's going to feel like it's going to be hard going, yeah? you know, twists and turns. It's like trying to navigate your way through the hot desert at times. But the universe wants you to know that there is a divine plan in operation here. There is a reason for having to you know, work, navigate your way through the challenges and the obstacles. So trust there is a divine plan here. It's all about learning, learning from experiences and then moving on. You know, finding the oasis in, in the middle of a hot desert. A hot desert. Um, and distant thunder, yes, you know, there may be words having to be spoken, but it needs to be, they need to be spoken to clear the air. So don't run away from this. Don't run away from confrontation. Sometimes we have to stand our ground and face and, and say, you know, communicate with, the, with each other. Say what needs to be said. But with kindness and with love. But it's needed to clear the air. All right, Pisces. Um, you're in the flow, remember. Things are going the way they're supposed to be going. So good luck going forward and until next time, bye-bye for now.